Hot and humid weather is back across Acadiana as temperatures today should climb to near the 90 degree mark. Fortunately, most of the region is staying dry. We're going to be seeing a few widely scattered showers and thunderstorms through the mid-Mississippi Valley, but as far as any widespread rainfall that would hamper or bring more water into the Ohio and lower part of the Mississippi River Basin, right now don't see a whole lot of that over the next several days. Now there are areas along the Mississippi River that are expected expecting record crests, including the Red River Landing, which is near Angola, and the record is 62.3, but it's forecast to climb about three feet higher than that as we get into around May the 22nd. Baton Rouge also expected to set a new record. The old record back in the flood of 27 forecast about a quarter of a foot or so above that particular flood stage. Now in New Orleans, they're not expecting a record to fall thanks to the Bonnie Carey Spillway opening today and the possibility of the Morganza Spillway opening later this week. Uh, the forecast is 19 and a half feet, but keep in mind uh, the flood control system there along the Mississippi River in New Orleans can handle waters up to 20 feet, then the levees are over overtopped. Now as far as the Atchafalaya, and again a lot of the concerns are if, if the uh, Morganza Spillway were to open, we would see some river stages considerably higher than what's forecast here. Now these numbers that we're looking at keep the Morganza Spillway closed. Now flood stage at Simsport is 47 feet forecast to climb up to around 50 feet on May the 23rd. It could be somewhat higher if the uh, spillway is open, but they're above that, so may not see as much of a difference. Now at Butte La Rose, the flood stage is 25 feet. That is the forecast. That's shy of the record that was set back in 73. But if the Morganza Spillway is open, we could see additional flooding. Now the levee at the areas near Butte La Rose along the river is at 33 feet, but we're finding that at 28 feet, some of the backwater flooding could occur and that could bring some problems and actually bring flooding into Butte La Rose well ahead of that 33 foot flood stage. Now, as far as at Morgan City, the flood stage is at four feet, forecast nine and a half. That's without the spillway opening. If it does open, they're expecting some crests maybe between 12 and 13 feet. Now, the flood wall in Morgan City can handle water up to 21 feet, but at 12 feet, we start to see some flooding in areas east of Morgan City, including areas around Amelia and any areas that are inside of that flood protection system there on the river side would be flooded at a flood stage of nine feet. Now, looking at the big picture, fortunately, high pressure is in control, so not a lot of organized precipitation. You've got some big thunderstorms in the upper Mississippi Valley, but nothing hurting it there along the Ohio or the lower Mississippi Valley now. And as we go through time, it looks like that ridge of high pressure is going to be holding on uh, at least for the next several days. So we're going to see some hot and humid weather, but fortunately, not a whole lot of rain across Acadiana and the, much of the deep south over the next several days. Although we could use some rainfall in a drought situation, we like to see some some of that waters along the Atchafalaya and the uh, Mississippi River drain out before we start to get some of those rainfalls that would actually help us out with the drought. Temperatures at midday will be running in the upper 80s, should be around 90 this afternoon. Later on this evening, we'll see some low clouds and fog redeveloping as lows will drop into the lower 70s, staying rather muggy. Tomorrow, temperatures will climb again close to 90 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Heat index over the next couple of days could be as high as 95. 90 with partly cloudy skies today. Overnight, mostly cloudy, some uh, warm and muggy conditions as we drop back to 72. Looking ahead, back to 90 with a mix of sun and clouds. Again, heat index Tuesday could be around 95. Staying rain free through at least Wednesday could see a couple of isolated showers or thunderstorms popping up with the daytime heating by the end of the week, then warm and humid again over the weekend with highs in the upper 80s and overnight lows back in the 70s. Of course, we'll keep a very close eye on the river stages. The uh, Bonnie Carey Spillway opened earlier this morning just west of New Orleans, and there is uh, a hint that the Morganza Spillway may be open as early as Thursday of this week. I'm meteorologist Dave Baker in the Storm Team 3 Weather Lab. Thanks for visiting. KATC.com.